All right, so this one is a little bit more of a known one that came out not super long ago, so it's not really old, not as old as, say, The Suffering. But I did hear good things about Signalis, and I kind of just wanted to try it. So ended up doing all the settings, all of that, and I did play a teeny bit just to see how it would do, but uh, just wanted to check it out, see how it goes, and I guess just kind of get started. Uh, it apparently has a bunch of Silent Hill-esque kind of elements to it, where it really messes with you. Pretty vague intro so far, but... It's definitely interesting. We're supposed to play as some kind of a replica human, uh, as far as I know. Name is Lester, I think. So yeah, we've got basically the old... Uh, we don't move like a tank, we just move whichever way is pointed, so... But we do have different rooms that we can go to here. Uh, we go this way, it looks like a cockpit of some kind. So, you can go ahead and check it out. Uh, the one thing of note that I will probably mess up a lot is that the confirmation button is actually square for me because I use controller. So, it is a little interesting. Uh, I'm used to hitting X for confirmation or circle in certain cases, but X is actually the cancel button or back button. So, a little interesting. And uh, nothing we can do there. We can go this way. Penrose 512. Octung decompression. Uh, so, German, I believe. Octung. Um, not really good at German. <laughs> I should probably not play too many games where the language is more foreign <laughs> than I am accustomed to without learning some. But yeah, uh, let's see, we have Lester RLM. It's interesting. Uh, it looks like we have some scotch tape. Go ahead and take that. Uh, we can't really do anything with that magazine, I guess, except examine it. Looks like we got a book here. Penrose type vessel field operations manual. Penrose type vessels on the Yusan People's Navy are low cost space exploration vessels deployed beyond the solar system's edge in the search for planets and moons fit for habitation or rich in natural resources to support the continuous growth of our great nation. All Penrose vessels are piloted by a Gestalt Scout Officer, supported by a Land Service Ship techni Technician Replica, or Lester. This partner system, or Gestalt Replica Cooperation, has proved successful in countless previous scout operations. Mutual control and support allow both the Gestalt Officer and the Technician Replica to perform their optimal at their optimal capacity. Once the vessel is catapulted towards the edge of the solar system by an orbital mass driver, the pilot may adjust the course from the flight deck, while the replica will take care of mechanical maintenance of the vessel. So that's certainly interesting. We're apparently on a deep space exploration vessel. This looks like a uh, treadmill. Must have been like a fitness room of some kind. Okay, so whenever we can go in a door, it's blue and has arrows. When we can't go through a door, it's X that's red. So that's pretty good. It'll easily give us an identifiable thing that we can do. Uh, looks like we can hit some buttons here for a case that somebody's asleep in. Uh, we do have the photograph with stuff on the back, apparently. Regular tape. So, looking at the photograph and then looking here, uh, let's see. Is there a way I can just 
Yeah. Okay. So it looks like we have Y with bottom right also, or red. So let's go ahead and try that. Okay. Looks like that let us open up the cryo chamber. I assume it's a cryo chamber anyways. Uh, nothing in it, apparently. Or it's draining. Two pieces of key snapped in half lie inside the cryogenic pod. Pick up airlock key. Alright, and it's apparently covered in blood. Uh, we do actually have tape, so we can probably go ahead and combine these. Yeah, so. And we did have the airlock earlier, so now we can go ahead and check that out. Uh, now that I think about it, I don't think I read the book in here. I just looked at it. Is there anything that this says? Lester features repair logic module. Serving our great nation as ship technicians aboard the scout vessels of the Penrose program, Lester type replicas like yourself are equipped with a specialized repair logic module, allowing them to quickly and easily repair both themselves and important mission equipment. Accessing the RLM functions, enter the inventory screen by pressing Y, select the item to repair with, press X to open the command menu, select the combined option to enter combined mode. Well, yeah, this is basically just telling us how to use combined mode. Uh, we already figured that out, so we're good. Uh, now we need to find that airlock again. I think it was back here. Since we have our airlock key, we can go ahead and use our airlock. We have a kind of interesting point and click sort of thing going on, but we can use our airlock key here. Which is still covered in blood, kind of weird, but it looks like that's going to unlock us a suit. It's got a really nice pixel art uh, look to it. I imagine there's probably going to be some disturbing shit eventually coming our way, so uh, that was a quick intro, I guess, for just introducing doors, uh, concepts of combining things, all of that stuff. Looks like we're stuck on some kind of frozen wasteland planet, uh, tundra some kind, with a bunch of really weird black pillars sticking out of the ground. That's interesting. Uh, kind of a Space Odyssey, 2001 A Space Odyssey, monolith kind of stuff. Uh, it looks like we have some kind of point and click section here, so I just click ahead, I guess. Well, nowhere really to go to the sides, but there is a gate looking thing up here, so might as well go see what that's about. and a giant hole leading into the ground. That's certainly not something you see on abandoned planets too often. At least I don't think we've discovered a giant hole with a staircase on Mars yet, so certainly interesting. Okay, so it looks like we just have a hole in the wall. Uh, Silent Hill 4 vibes kind of coming in. So I guess we'll go in the hole. Uh, <laughs> not really anything else we can do down here. Except for admire the little bit of particles of snow falling in. This is certainly ominous looking. Almost looks like the barrel of like a rifle or something because you can see the uh, rifling <laughs> actually going on on the sides. So... Kind of interesting. Uh, we have some sort of book here. Looks like uh, some kind of... 
I want to say Japanese slash Chinese. I'm not good with uh, Asian language symbols, but it's definitely some kind of dialect from over there. Um, some kind of Crimson King. Really weird looking. The King in Yellow. I guess that also makes sense. He is, he is wearing a two-tone of yellow and red. That's certainly interesting. Wonder why there's just a computer in a random hole on a random planet where we seem to have crashed. Along with a tome. Okay, yeah, that's definitely German. Yeah, you can hear it. Eins, zwei. That, that sort of counting. And Octung. Great holes secretly are digged where Earth's pores ought to surface. Uh, our face is kind of melting, that's weird. And things have learnt to walk that ought to crawl. Okay then. Okay then. Uh, if I just saw that right, that was pretty dark looking. Uh, especially since there's blood splattering on the floor now. So this is certainly interesting. Very quickly. I see where the Silent Hill comparisons coming in rather quick and heavy. Capital One Synchronizat? Uh, not even gonna say I was close in pronouncing that. German is another language that I am not good at, so... But it appears we have ourselves another cutscene. Uh, looks like an homage to Silent Hill 2. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, yeah, that, that seems to make it a bit more obvious. I came all the way here to find her. There's no turning back now. Yeah, we're... Cute little homage to Silent Hill 2 starting off in a bathroom. I wonder if we're finding someone named Mary. <laughs> There's a key card with a note taped to the window of the reception. Due to staff shortage, report new arrivals at classroom 4C Northeast. Pick up receptionist key. Sure. 4C Northeast. Well, we just used our receptionist key, so that's good. Uh, our receptionist key does not work on that. We can go in there. This one's taped up, so can't go there. Can't go here. Also looks like we have like a floor grating that we can see down here. Uh, there is also this way. Nope, never mind. We can't go that way. And apparently we're being watched, so that's kind of creepy. What the hell is on the floor right now? A dead Yule unit. She's in a horrible state. Infected looking bio components are bulging out of her damaged shell. What happened to her that would cause this? Uh, don't think I want to stick around to find out. And apparently we are being watched everywhere. That's kind of concerning. Service request form F29. Data filing service request form 8421-4. Full protector ID of unit filing request Euler S2309 replica. Status, status staff. Department redacted. Full protector ID of unit processing request ARAR S2303 replica. 
Service object mound and talker. High security wall safe numeric keypad. Location of object classroom 4B. Description the wall safe in classroom 4B keeps resetting to the default combination. What's the point of the whole radio code broadcasting system if our safe can only be opened with the code in the manual? Okay, so apparently there's a safe in room 4B that has problems being reset. Memorandum wall safe codes. It has come to my attention that at least one worker might be aware of the code broadcasting frequencies for the protector wall safes. Any workers connected to this leak are to be interrogated until the culprit is found. I'm restricting all radio privileges for workers until further notice. Adler. Okay, we can go through there. Maybe there's something we can do with this monitor. Oh, that's our save. Okay. Uh, interesting. Let's see what it does when we do. Oh, I guess it's just a save. Yeah. Okay. So we have four save slots. Kind of do whatever with that. Apparently we can go that way. Let's see if there's anything upwards. Oh, hello. Uh, that's not good. Star. An Elster unit. You should leave this place. This facility is lost. Turn back before it's too late. I'm looking for this woman. Have you seen her? I don't know her, but she might be one of the workers. All Gestalt workers were sent to the mine below the facility. If she's still alive, she's probably down there. There's an access elevator to the mine shaft one level below, but you'll need an administrator's key to use it. Okay, so we've got a point in the direction of using an administrator's key to access the mine shaft, which this is probably... Oh, this is classroom 4C, okay. So the door is labeled. Uh, can't do anything there. Wonder if our robot friend here will be okay. I'll be out of here as soon as this repair patch stops my bleeding. You should get out of here too. Okay, so something definitely messed up our friend here. Uh, probably don't want to meet it yet because I don't think I have any forms of defense currently on me. So that wouldn't be good. This looks like some kind of classroom. There is a wall safe. So maybe it's the default one? No. Uh, is there something that indicates what room this is, maybe? What is this? Uh, I know forbidden. Verboten. That, that's a, that's about all I've got. <laughs> no running in the halls. No running in the hallways. Be mindful of your neighbors. Everyone can hear you run. Oh, that's probably a warning where if we start running that things will come from other rooms and attack us. Uh, I don't know if I'd really call it a run that we're doing. Oh, that's cool. There's like a shadow effect down below. Uh, that kind of spooked me a little bit, honestly. I first saw it. Okay, so we found Fenton Classroom 4C. I guess we'll go past Mold Person here. A dead Yule unit. Why was she abandoned here? Well, uh, apparently we've only found one living thing so far. Nothing to do there. Maybe we can interact with this thing. If I had an aperture card, I could view its contents here. Okay, so if we get an aperture card, we need to come back to this room. We do have our own reflection there, so that's interesting. Uh, nothing back here, I guess. Nothing over here. 
We can see in the reflection, though. It's kind of cool. Nothing on this side, maybe? It does look like there's like a book or something up there. Might be able to get with that later. But I don't think there's anything we can do in there. Uh, we'd already checked to the right. We came from down. Can't do anything on the left. I think we need to do something with that safe first, but what's the default code? It keeps resetting to its default combination. What's the point of the whole radio broadcasting thing if don't do it? What does this say? Keep records. Protocol everything. Remember, if you didn't write it down, it never happened. Get the right forms from the administration and save your files frequently. God, I'm getting PTSD from my old job. <laughs> uh, used to work tech support. <laughs> if you didn't have an email trail, you were in trouble. It was not fun. Maybe it's one, two, three, four. Okay. If I just keep hitting... Hmm. Maybe I can just do this and then... No? Okay. Uh, there's got to be something we can do with the wall safe. It says that it keeps resetting, but... We can't go that way. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. Our injured person is in here. She's... Oh, I see something over here. Okay. Protector key. Maybe now we can... do something around here. I assume we can't do anything if the locks are red, because it would be kind of weird to have a lock symbol and a non function symbol, so we can't do anything if they're just locked. Can't do anything in the classroom yet. It seems like the shelf would be able to move. So I guess now we have a protector key, so maybe we can do something with that. Uh, no, that was a aperture thing that we could use in there. Maybe we can do something back? This was locked, I think. Yeah, okay. Use the protector key. Got some kind of security console. Oh, hey. Handgun, nice. This looks like an old soundboard or something. It's kind of weird looking. Aperture card, this is what we have for that lab. And it's also going to teach us how to shoot, which I assume is left trigger and right trigger. Type 75 pistol user manual. The Type 75 pistol is a short recoil operated lock breached semi-automatic pistol chambered in 10 millimeter. This reliable versatile handgun is the standard issue sidearm for Aeon protector control staff. Replica users, remember to first equip the Type 75 pistol in the inventory screen and designate the pistol as your primary weapon for the targeting module. To deploy the weapon, hold left trigger to disengage the safety and enter in targeting mode. While in targeting mode, right trigger and X will both fire the weapon. Right bumper will in initiate a reload. Remember, do not waste ammunition for it is a resource of the nation. When a target is down, try to finish it off by kicking or hitting it with a baton to preserve ammunition. Okay, so it flat out tells us you can kick things. So, that's good. What the hell is this? Memorandum Terminology. I announce the following by order of Aeon. Due to recent events in accordance with the new Aeon Public Interest Media Regulation, AGM 87, the term redacted, which is currently to use in various Aeon facilities, is no longer permissible and must no longer be used. Premises and departments that are currently using the term are to be immediately renamed. Management personnel shall black out the term from all signage and documents until replacement terminology is announced by Aeon. With immediate effect, usage of the term in conversation and correspondence is an offense, obscenity to the state to be published, to be punished with two cycles of double shift work shift. 
It may not be easy, but we all have to do our part here. Always remember, our language shapes our world. A perfect world requires a perfect language. Adler. What's this cord, though? I guess we can't do anything with it. And nothing in the bottom drawer, so... Guess we've done all we can do there. Uh, can we equip this? Okay, so it's a twin stick shooter kind of workout, so... I can still move with the left stick, aim with left trigger, but I can also aim... Or... Oh, hello! And it said we can kick him, so... Okay. Alright, I understand. I'm getting it. Took four bullets to take her down, and she scared the hell out of me. Like, damn. I didn't catch what it said her name was. Issa? Oh, hello. Oh, hi. Uh, what you doing with that knife, girl? <laughs> you don't belong here either, do you? I'm Issa. Issa, I... Itoi? Ito... Ito? I'm going to go with Ito. Issa Ito. You should be careful. There's something wrong with this place. I don't know what happened, but it's probably dangerous to go any further. That's okay. I understand. I have something I need to do, too. Take care. I hope you find wh who you're looking for. Right. Uh, that's gonna be our Angela, isn't it? Very vague and not super helpful. And has a big ass knife that I don't want her near me. Used aperture card. High security wall safe numeric. The wall safe complies with the USON public safety equipment regulations 41 and 43 and features a high density craft stall door secured with a numeric keypad proudly produced on Hamet by VEB Mond and Tochter. Holy crap, I am going to have a lot of trouble pronouncing things. <laughs> Tresor Technic. Instruction for use. Enter the code using keypad. Press the confirm key in the lower right corner. If correct, a green light will pop up. Rotate the dial on the left to open the door. To clear any previously entered digits, press the E key in the lower left. First time setup, enter the factory default code 204512 to open the safe. While the door is open, enter the desired new code in the keypad. Press and hold the confirm key for 10 seconds until the green light lights up. So, 204512 is what we're looking at there. You better stay on the ground, girl. Already made me poop myself once, I don't need to poop myself twice. Okay, so 204512. Just to make sure it's cleared out, I guess. 204512. Enter left thing to open. I don't think we'd need to change the passcode, but... Does this say something? No? Okay. Guess we just grab our card and go. Picked up classroom key? Yes. Class and Zimmer. Hell, maybe this game will teach me a little German before the end. That'd be cool. Let's go see how Star's doing. Maybe... Oh. Uh, ammo? Repair patch. Coagulant type K. Okay. Well, I hope Star is okay. Uh, that is a big hole. Oh, of course. We're doing the silent hole for it. We're jumping down a random hole that we can't see the bottom of. Fuck it, let's go. Uh, 